And welcome to the News at Four. I'm Doug Petcash. A seismic shift in the Boise State football program. We've seen a major shakeup over the last three days on the offense. It started with Boise State's poor showing in a 27-10 loss to UTEP on Friday. Head coach Andy Avalos fired offensive coordinator Tim Plough the next day and appointed former NFL and Bronco head coach Dirk Cutter as OC. Then today, sources told KTVB Sports Director Jay Tuss that four-year starting quarterback Hank Bachmeyer is entering the transfer portal immediately. Sports reporter Brady Frederick is joining me right now to uh, break down how all of this is playing out, Brady. Yeah, Doug, the news broke early this morning and that uh, Hank Bachmeyer would enter the transfer portal immediately this season. And while we have not heard anything directly from the program or from Bachmeyer himself, a source was able to confirm the news to KTVB this morning. Now, Bachmeyer has had plenty of highs and lows in his four-year career as the Boise State starting quarterback. This season, after he was benched in the season opener against Oregon State, the offense has since struggled to get off the ground. BSU had a historic low 177 total yards of offense and 93 passing yards in their loss to UTEP. Both of those marks are the lowest from this team since 1997. Now it's very rare to see a starting quarterback enter the transfer portal during the season but the timing does make sense. Bachmeyer has played in four games this year. NCAA football players can play in four games and still redshirt during that season. Bachmeyer played as a true freshman. He still hasn't used his red shirt yet. He also has that COVID year of extra eligibility. So now he's going to be able to join a program with two years of college football left to play. Now, this news comes just two days after another huge change for the Boise State football team. On Saturday, the program announced that head coach Andy Avalos had fired offensive coordinator Tim Plough. With this move, Boise State head, uh, former head coach Dick Cutter Dirk Cutter, excuse me, who had previously joined the team this season as an analyst, would take over as offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. This would have made it Bachmeyer's fourth different co offensive coordinator in his fourth season with the team. Still, just yesterday, Coach Avalos talked about the positive response he had seen from the team as they elevated Coach Cutter to OC and said that he was excited to see how Cutter's wealth of knowledge would transfer to Bachmeyer and the rest of the quarterback room. Yesterday, there was a great response from the team. Obviously, we all love Clo Coach Plow, but there was a great response from the team. Yes, has Dirk been around uh, Hank? Yeah. Have, have they talked a lot about quarterback play, you know, just as a mentor and things like that? Yes, they have. So it's not like it's someone that he's not familiar with. It's not something like, uh, like you know, TG's not familiar or Sam's not familiar. I'm excited for all these guys to learn and grow. And, and to be able to use his experience of coaching multiple talented quarterbacks at all levels of, of this game. So this is going to set the stage for what's about to be a really interesting game on Friday night. The Broncos head into their second conference game of the season, looking to defend the blue against San Diego State. And they're going to have to do it with a new offensive coordinator and a quarterback who will be making his first career start. And is there, well, it hasn't been a news conference, obviously, since yesterday. Um, any indication as to who that starting quarterback will be? Well, we won't know for sure until game time. Andy Avalos likes to kind of keep the element of surprise. But right now, all signs would point towards Taylor Green. He's the quarterback we've seen so far this season. Uh, he got some time in that Oregon State game. And, you know, we've seen what he can do on the ground. And, you know, the, the more than 100 yards he's, rushing. he's been able to show. He, he's a very dynamic and fun player to watch. Uh, and if he ends up being the starter, it'll, it'll be a, a, a big milestone for him uh, to see what he can do as a leader and get, you know, a full game. Yeah, and obviously San Diego State's been a big rival of the Broncos for a long time. What are they looking like this year? Well, you know, this year they're having some offensive struggles themselves. They're off to a 2-2 two and two start to the season. Both of those losses are coming to, from Pac-12 opponents. Uh, but so far, you know, they're, they're not putting up a ton of points. They're, they're hanging around the, the 17 to to 21 point range. Okay. They had a, a close one against Toledo 17 to 14 this weekend and uh, they're they're looking to, to kind of make a turnaround as well this season so it should be an interesting game. All right Brady thank you for following up on this for us and we'll see you again tonight on the news at six.